Good morning, people of the internet. How are you today? You can't answer, so don't bother trying. Here we are again. It's another Monday morning, and I have news for you. News. You like news. News is good. I've been doing some planning, haven't done anything practical. Well, except for that, I've been doing that. Basically, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing in future. Now, if you've been following my Twitter, uh, you'll know that I have a couple things planned. Basically, this is going to be going out every Monday for the foreseeable future, as far as I know, or at least I will try, and it will be, there will be something in some form every Monday for you to watch. Uh, for the next month, for every Monday in August, um, there shall be a portion of Woody, a music student, which I've been promising for a very long time. Um, but it won't be coming out in the uh, sense that it was going to come out before. What I've done is I've edited it into separate little videos and little sections, little bits, for you to enjoy each Monday throughout August. The first one will be out later today, in fact. Um, this will probably go out at about midday and the uh, Woody and Music Student will be out at 6, so make sure you stick around to check that out. Also, from September onwards, uh, I've been talking with my producer, another Enigma. Um, I'll put him in the description because he's an awesome producer and awesome musician. Um, I'll be doing a new original song once per month, starting from September. Maybe at the end of it I'll put out like a CD or an album with all these songs on it. But basically that will be the idea, so there will be new original music every month for you to check out. Also, at some point in the month, we'll also be trying to revive uh, Woody Covers, which I started a couple months ago, and it kind of went wrong, but as you can clearly tell, I've sorted out video stuff, and so, yeah, hopefully I'll be starting that up again. So every month, you should have, you'll have weekly vlogs, you'll have monthly covers, and original music, so I hope there'll be a lot more stuff for you to enjoy. And that's pretty much the music update uh, for today. Some of you may have noticed um, that my hair isn't green anymore. It's brown. Um, basically, I'm looking for work because it may shock you to know this does not cover my income. I've had to dye my hair in an attempt to look more professional in order to get a job, uh, which I'm trying to wrangle a position in a pub in here in Northampton, um, so obviously that helps. But the more observant of you may notice it's not completely brown, it's greeny brown because the dye didn't work to maximum efficiency. So sort of that kind of leads on to what I want to talk to you about today. What I want to talk to you about is colour and some of my friends, if they're watching this, they're about to bleed from the eyeballs because I've complained about this so much within my lifetime. Basically, stop making up stupid colours like mauve. F***ing mauve. The, it's a ridiculous concept. It's, they're not colours. Basically, there's like seven colours. I don't even agree with indigo and violet. They're pink and purple. Make your mind up. I will stretch to reddy purple or greeny blue, a turquoise, mauve, burgundy, Oxford, Oxford, f***ing ridiculous. It's not a colour, it's a description for an ox's blood. Basically, I've heard arguments for this that the logic behind it is so you can specify certain shades of colour within, like, you know, the design industry. Which I can understand the reasoning behind, but it isn't the most logical solution because things like mustard yellow are too open to interpretation. Most people probably see the same colours, you know, there's this argument that is my red green for you, it, it's, it's like researching, it discovered, it's probably not, but we do, people do interpret shades like quite differently, quite noticeably differently if you could sort of see them on a screen side by side. So it's too open for interpretation. Here's my suggestion. If you really want to be so specific about different shades, use what every sort of film person uses. If you're producing colour on a computer, use the RGB figures. Every colour goes from 0 to 255, I believe. And, you know, you set it, and depending on which colour, it depends on what colour you get, and it will be an exact shade. There's also other things like transparency and sort of 
Um, I can't remember the actual thing, but it's how sort of how hard the light is hitting it. So it depends on shadow, and what you get is an exact shade with an exact level of transparency and exact sort of harshness of light that is inarguable and not open to interpretation, which seems like the most logical solution for the problem of getting exact shades. Describing something as sunshine or like bare brick is not going to help me at all in finding a precise shade of colour that you want me to get when transferring information of colour. In response to this, and as long, for as long as you people are making up silly colours like burgundy, then I'm going to refer to every colour as a shade of beige. I've been doing this for quite some time, but it's good fun. For example, um, let me find something. This guitar, is my guitar, this for example is a uh, strawberry beige. Strawberry beige. That's how I shall refer to this until you start being sensible about things. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching me ramble. And, you know, so now would be the time to pass off. So, you know, shoot.